dip the region at up to 60 miles per hour and hail the size of dimes and quarters fell from the sky. There is still some light rain hanging on tonight in some areas, but all the warnings, all the watches have now been canceled. Meteorologist Ray Petlin is here with what to expect tonight and tomorrow. But our team coverage begins with Ralph Iannotti. He is in Wilkinsburg where crews are still cleaning up. Ralph. Very much, Susan. Good evening. The rain has stopped here. The storms have moved out, and the area here finally starting to dry out. But uh, the aftermath of the storms still very visible in some places, like here on Maple Street in Wilkinsburg. You could see this huge tree behind me was uh, knocked over, and it partially is blocking this street. The thunderstorms that slammed parts of the Pittsburgh area were fast moving, but they packed a punch and in some areas proved to be destructive. In Wilkinsburg, high winds downed trees and caused road closures. In Lincoln Borough, the problem wasn't the wind, but the heavy downpours that resulted in flooding. A small creek overflowed its banks, causing the high water to flood sections of Corson Road. A few miles away, on Coal Hollow Road Number 1 in Jefferson Hills, a bolt of lightning hit a tree. When part of it fell onto the roadway, it brought down wires with it. The couple that lived in this house were afraid to come outside because the loose wires that came down began sparking. She went to the front door, and it was raining pretty good, and I heard the hail coming down. And then we heard a, a loud bang, and That's everything went I'm black. Gonna... And it looked like crazy out here. It was all steamy because it's... Hot. It looked like it was almost snowing. That's how heavy the rain was and the hail at the same time. And then, and then the steam. And yeah. then you heard the bang. The then tree. we heard the bang. And, and in Pittsburgh, by early evening, the rain had lightened up, but police had to close a stretch of Bex Run Road because of high water, which stranded several cars. Despite repeated pleas from public safety officials not to drive through flooded roadways, a number of cars were seen doing exactly what you're not supposed to do. And we just got an update a few minutes ago from the power companies in our area. Duquesne Light and Allegheny Power report a combined total of about 4,000 customers at this hour still in the dark because of storm damage. We're live tonight in Wilkinsburg. I'm Ralph Iannotti. KDKA News.